Hi, I'm Kristen, and I'm a member of the New York Sunworks maintenance team. This is week three of our investigation on how and why plants climb. I checked on the progress of the pea and bush bean plants halfway through the week and found that the surviving bush bean plant in this bowl of cotton with the other overwatered seeds that I showed you in last week's video has now started to die. I think I went a little too long without watering it. The bush bean in this peat pellet also started to dry out and it looks like it won't be bouncing back. Remember that last week I was worried about these pea seeds being stunted? but that I wanted to keep them going just in case they did better. Well, they started growing more and were looking a lot stronger, forming new growth, and overall looking better. And this bush bean lost its first set of true leaves. They started getting a little crispy around the edges and eventually both leaves fell off. Luckily, the new growth on it was looking great. This bush bean, the one that I planted just five days before I planted the others in the first video, is doing really well. Great roots, a nice strong stem, and healthy full leaves. The leaves were starting to look a little pale though, so this plant was most likely in need of some nutrients. All right, let's check in on our plants week two. First up, we have the bush bean that we planted in cotton. Uh, this is the one which the first true leaves fell off of, but the new growth is looking great. Here's a closer look. All right, next up we have the sugar snap peas, also planted in cotton. Unfortunately, these don't look like they're gonna make it after all. They were looking great for a little while, but uh, yeah, looking like they aren't gonna make it. They've really wilted. It seems like a combination, strangely enough, of underwatering and overwatering. All right, last. This bush bean is looking fantastic. It's got great roots, great leaves, uh, and it's growing nice and tall. This is the one that planted five days before the others. While we wait for the surviving plants from our investigation to grow bigger to explore how they climb, I'd like to show you the cucumber and pea plant that I brought in last week as an example of climbing plants I've been growing. Both plants have some amazing tendrils now, especially the cucumber plant. The tendrils have even started wrapping around other parts of its own cucumber plantiness. <laughs> I've given this cucumber plant a second stick to climb onto, and it has even started reaching over to its neighbor, this pea plant, and wrapping its tendrils around the pea plant stick. Don't forget to check back in next week to see how our plants are coming along. See you then.